Good morning and welcome at 6.30 in the morning to Teesmouth Nature Reserve near Hartlepool. Been here before a couple of times. Um, it's just a great orchid site full of clonkers. Uh, every time I've come here, whatever's growing here, it's not so much the rarity, it's the quality. This place has quality orchids, big, fat, colourful orchids. There are rarities here if we find them, but it's just the quality of the place. So looking forward to trip number three to Teesmouth Nature Reserve. I remember the first time I came here many, many years ago. And I'd come up here solely to see Northern Marsh Orchid because I'd never seen one before, living down in the south. And uh, I remember wondering whether I'd find one. And then I dropped down into the field on the right of me at the moment and was buried alive in the most wonderful, colourful Northern Marsh Orchids. So I am full of confidence. First of what should be many northern marsh orchids. Common spotted orchid. I'm afraid the wind's going to be blowing plants around a little bit today. It's a bit of an increasingly windy day. That's why I'm up and about early to try and beat it best I can. lovely markings on these northern marsh orchids. Uh, the little stumpy ones are probably the best to film today really because they don't move so much. First of what will be many of the Venusta hybrids between northern marsh and uh, common spotted. Always pretty orchids these are. Beautiful markings on that uh, Venusta hybrid. There's another one next door. Another eye catcher. Bear with me. Another hybrid. A lovely richly coloured northern marsh orchid. A pink and white common spotted orchid. Very pretty. These are the ones that always confuse me. Um, no spots on the leaves. Solid stem. And what looks like a, a hybrid northern marsh common spotted flower, which, it, which is almost certainly what it is, simply by elimination. It can't be anything else. But, uh, you know, with a common spotted parent, I can't see why there wouldn't be spots on the flowers, on the leaves, sorry. Um, but there aren't. Lovely orchid. Not a wholly dissimilar plant. A 
but it's got spots on the leaves. That is just a true Venusta hybrid. I didn't mention anything earlier in case you haven't uh, watched the previous video on this trip. When I want to talk about Venusta hybrid, it is the common spotted cross uh, northern marsh orchid. Think Grandis hybrid, common spotted southern marsh. This is just simply the northern version of that. The Venusta hybrid is the Grandis hybrid of the north. Just a bit prettier, I think. Although, you know, Grandis hybrid is a, a pretty orchid too. But I like these more. And there's a lot of them here. My prize find today, and I'm not suggesting we will find it, is the rare Atrata form of Northern Marsh Orchid, which is like a Rhodochilla. Um, what a Rhodochilla is, the common spotted. There is a uh, Northern Marsh Orchid, truly spectacular, and it only grows here. It doesn't grow anywhere else, so if we find one, it's one of the rarest orchids, if not the rarest orchid, you'll find anywhere in the country. That's if we find it. That's a tiddler and uh, more pale than most of the northern marsh orchids. I was trying to work out last night whether southern marsh actually do grow here. It, it would appear on the distribution map that you can find them up here, but I suspect there's not many. And I'm not suggesting this is a southern marsh orchid, even if it is lighter in tone to the resident northerns. Such an obvious common spotted orchid but without any spots on the leaves. <laughs> Go figure, as they say. You get some weird things in this field. A nice lollipop of a common spotted orchid, about 15, 16 inches tall. Nice to see a big one. There you go, a Teesmouth Reserve Bee Orchid. Good to see. Tempting to talk hybrids with that one, but I think it's just a northern marsh orchid. I will check it out. Uh, nothing on the leaves, clean leaves. Just unusual markings on the flower. That's a beauty. Marsh orchid stem, spotted leaves at the bottom, and a classic Venusta hybrid flower head. Very good. And right next to it, another bee orchid. Another clonker of a hybrid. There are spots on there, faint spots, and a marsh orchid stem. And this one is two foot tall plus, and has a wonderful Venusta hybrid flower head, belter. That's a pretty uh, common spotted orchid. Slightly strange, or slightly broad lip shape but it is a common spotted everything below says common spotted but just lovely markings I think I'll take this one home and have a look at it because I can't see the leaves because they're all browned off um, so I can't tell you whether it's got spots on the leaves or not um, the stem it's pretty firm yeah not sure about the flowers could just be an unusual spotted orchid. It's just that pale purple background that's sort of catching my eye. We'll see. We'll have a think. Northern marsh orchid. 
currently being outnumbered by the hybrids. There's more hybrids than there are pure northern marsh. Uh, this one's a pure northern marsh though. That's nice. I like that. That's a northern marsh orchid. Very good. Lovely hybrid. Spotty leaves and a stem like a tree trunk hybrid without even looking at the flowers. But we will look at the flowers because this is a clonker. This is a big one, over two foot tall this one. Beautiful markings as ever. Another very tidy Venusta hybrid. A tiddler of a pink pyramidal orchid. I don't mind the pink ones actually. Appeals to my feminine side. <laughs> Strongly spotted leaves, marsh orchid stem, hybrid coming up. And a nice richly coloured Venusta hybrid. It's only a little one, but it's nice to actually find a pure sort of textbook northern marsh orchid that has those straight edges, that has the sort of diamond shaped flower like the one at the bottom. You know, that's the classic northern marsh orchid with all the classic northern marsh orchid indicators of. Um, what appear to be straight edges to the flower <coughs> which of course are just curled up leaf edges but that's it's nice to see one that is absolutely spot on for northern marsh lovely color scheme on that one i mean it's a northern marsh orchid it just has its own color scheme this one less prominent markings but it's nice Another set of beautiful uh, Venusta hybrid markings. There you go, Venusta hybrid or common spotted. It's actually common spotted. Uh, slightly stronger markings, I suppose. Slightly stronger womble markings on the leaf, on the flower. <laughs> Still calling it a leaf. Uh, yeah, stronger womble faces on the flowers, but it's a solid stem and spotted leaves, so it fits the bill. I love these uh, ultra vibrant uh, northern marsh orchids that even have what are in effect red flowers, as in that one at the top, which is still kind of red coloured. I mean a red, red flowered orchid. It's amazing, it'll fade, but when they come out on some of these, they really are red. Another one of these with the sort of pale purple background. You, you see this somewhere else, you'd start thinking, you know, is there some sort of hybrid going on here? But this is a spotted leaves, solid stem sort of plant, and it's just a common spotted orchid. Just a nicely coloured one. And then you get this one, which is broadly similar. But it's got clean leaves, it does have a solid stem, so following my own guidance, whatever the flowers look like, this is a hybrid, and it is, it's a Venusta hybrid. Not a huge difference, but it is a hybrid. How good is that? Another wonderfully marked Venusta hybrid, like they all are. Just wandered out of the main field, which I've never done before here. Just followed one of the footpaths, it seemed to disappear into the distance. And uh, yeah, there's still plenty of orchids going on here and there's still, still top draw. Whether they be hybrids, northern marsh, or like this nice crop of common spotted. 
common toy blades. I'm not sure I've ever seen common toy blades here before. Certainly not in the main field. We've gone a bit off track now, but uh, yeah, good to see something different. Not a spot to be seen on the leaves and the stem is rock solid. Work that one out. And a lovely flower head. Um, don't know, you decide what it is. I guess, just looking closer at the leaves, see if it's got faint spots on, but it hasn't. There's no mark on them. Lovely orchid, whatever it is. That's a beauty. I can't tell you much about it. The leaves have pretty much fallen off or browned off. The stem is rock solid though, so if you want to go by that alone, it's a Venusta hybrid. Very pretty. A rather chubby looking uh, common spotted flower head. Looks like half common spotted, half pyramidal in shape. Mad, crazy, common spotted markings. That's a pure northern marsh orchid, one of the bigger ones we've seen. Nothing going to get a richer one than that. Very, very darkly coloured. Brilliant once again. Uh, just a fantastic sight. I've said it all before on the previous videos here, so I'm not going to repeat it all, but you know, it's quality, just quality all the way through this site. I couldn't find one of the Atrata, but they are exceptionally rare. I did see one on my first visit here. Um, couldn't find any today. A lot that go very close, but uh, none of them quite uh, hit the mark. But wonderful northern marsh, northern marsh hybrids and common spotters really. It's the Souththorpe Meadow of the North. Uh, absolutely superb. And I need to crack on now before the winds turn into gale force winds, which they're forecast to do. Thanks for joining me and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I will be shooting that next video in about half an hour's time. <laughs>